Salutations to people out there. Uh, welcome back to Professor Enoch 095s uh, channel. Um, today I'm gonna make a deck profile of my uh, Gear Chronicle. Now, um, this, uh, this is a, just a simple reminder that this uh, deck of mine isn't that awesome, isn't that perfect, but um, this is just to show you how my Gear Chronicle decks run through. This is how my deck goes, so I'm just running you through um, how my deck works. Now, um, this deck of mine is a mix between Time Leap and the uh, basic uh, GC Vanilla, which is returning the real gas to the bottom of your decks and so. Um, if you don't know what Time Leap does, it's basically choosing one of your uh, real guards, bind it, and superior call a great one higher on the field. So basically, if I have a card that has a time leap ability, I can just choose one of my great one, I bind it, and I can superior call a great two on the field. So very nice. So let's, before further ado, let's get started. Well, we first off, we um, have our forerunner. Chronodoran, very cute boy. Hi. Okay. Um, Chronodoran, uh, yeah, um, his skill is a uh, generation break one. When this unit is placed on the bind zone, you can um, superior call Chrono Jet and you can put this unit to the soul. So, for example, I choose Chronodoran, I time leap it, I superior call great one, and Chronodoran moves into the soul and he can superior call Chrono Jet. By the end of turn, Chrono Jet Dragon returns the uh, into my hand and the Great One returns to the bottom of the deck. So that's how Time Leap works, right? This is uh, my starter. Alright. Now next off, we'll go to the Great Trees, which is Boku no Bunshin Chrono Jet Dragon. Right. Uh, I play four Chrono Jet Dragons, which is the ace of every Gear Chronicle. Right, he's pretty awesome. I have the for the the cards from the first trial deck and the sixth trial deck. So if you don't know the skill, let's uh, I'll explain it to you. This is a generation break two ability. Uh, when this unit attacks a vanguard, you uh this unit gets five k, and your opponents can't call a great one or greater cards from hand to GC. Which basically, if I attack, if it's a generation break two. I can attack. I get a six. I get a sixteen k, and my opponent cannot perfect guard or constant guard. Or I and great twos. I block. I can block the great ones and great twos, meaning that they can only guard with the great zero. So yeah, pretty awesome. Uh, must have for every gear chronicle deck. He's the ace. Yeah, GC, the ace of GC. Um, the s second great tree I'm gonna play is a uh, steam fighter Balif. Uh, which uh, the first skill is a rear guard ability, which makes this a very good rear uh rear guard on skill. It's, it's, uh, it's a generation break one when and when this unit attack hits a vanguard, you may counter blast one and you can re uh return one of your opponent's front row rear guards and return it bottom of the deck. So yeah, pretty cool. Like if you if this unit hits counter blast one, your front row your opponent's front row rear guards is returned the bottom of the deck. Play four of these and you'll be fine. And the second skill is that when this unit strikes, um, uh, this unit gets an activated ability. It's a once per turn. You may counter blast one. Um, search your deck for Chrono Jet Dragon and you can swap out this guy as the heart. So this is a very good um, uh, great tree. Heart, uh, this is a heart swapper, mean, meaning that... Um, I can just switch the hearts without Balif as my uh, heart card. So I can switch Chrono Jet and Balif. Chrono Jet when enters the Vanguard, this unit, uh, I shuffle my deck and this Great Tree returns to the bottom of my deck. So yeah, this is cool. So this Great Tree lineup basically um, doesn't need to have you worry about which type of Vanguard you're running, but I recommend you if. I recommend you to have right Chrono Jet if. If your luck is that bad, so Balif, and you have to waste another counter blast, but he's still a very good card. Alright, that's our great tree. Um, next off, we'll go to the great twos. Um, first off, we'll 
have the uh, history maker drag dragon history maker dragon all right uh, which is the skill is that the uh, regard ability generation break one when this unit attacks a vanguard you may counter blast one and choose one of your units and time bleep it all right this is a very cool a uh, very cool one, cool card, because this doesn't, this is not an Ember clone, which makes me very glad, because this unit doesn't need to be boosted or anything, just a straight up attack with a uh, playing 9k, and you can pay one counter blast and choose one unit, time leap it and return, time leap it at the end of the turn, you return it to the bottom of your deck. This is a very good card, All right? I recommend playing um, three or four of these, because this is a very quite stable in time leap deck. Yeah. All right. Next, uh, we'll play upstream dragon, upstream dragon. All right. Um, if you don't know the skill, which is a rare guard ability, generation break one. When this unit attacks a vanguard, you can give it four k, uh, making this a thirteen k beater, which is a very awesome. So uh, if you do, you can uh search your deck for great one, and you can call it as rest. Um. This is awesome, which is good for time leap because you can just time leap your great ones and you can just uh, up to a great two and you can just attack again with this 4k. It's just good. I recommend. Oh, sorry. I recommend playing three of this because you don't need much upstream dragon in this decks. The uh, two or three is enough. That's the optimum. Very good. So if I attack with a uh, 13 13k, sorry. 13k and this return units returns to the bottom of your deck. I can just call a great one as rest. So this is how upstream works, right? Okay. Um, the next one will be um, glimmer breath. Yeah, very good. This is a regard ability again. Uh, this is a generation break one when this unit is placed on the rear guard circle. You may counter blast one and soul blast one, and if you have a great tree or greater vanguard with chrono jet in its card name, you can just choose one of your opponents, create two or less regards and return it out of your deck. So this is quite cool. Um, I think playing two of this is enough because this is just a real guard on call ability which I don't really like. So this is, and uh, oh yeah, I never forgot to mention that this unit gets two k. This is very good. Uh, especially in a Chrono Jet deck, which I recommend playing. This uh, two is enough. Uh, no more, no less. The sec the next great two is a uh, Steam Next Calibum. Uh, this is a eight K meter, so yeah, too bad. But the one good thing about it is this is not a generation break restricted, which makes this card really good. Um, if you don't know the skill. Um, when this unit is placed on the rear guard circle, you may uh, you choose one of your opponent's rear guards, return it and uh, call a great one lesser, which means that if I call, right, I can choose my great two's rear guard, my my opponent's great two rear guards, return the bottom of the deck, and I can superior call my my opponent can superior call a great one, like if I return a if I call this. I choose my opponent's grade 1 unit, and my opponent gets to call the grade 0. But, and uh, I can call this also, and I can return my grade 0 so that they can't call anything, which is, which um, I recommend if you want to play this, play two of these, uh, just, just to, just as a non-generation break, which is a good card, so you can just return your grade 0 also, so this is good. Alright, um, the next grade 2 we have is, um, Ste uh, Steam Fighter Amber, yes, Amber. Steam Fighter Amber, which, if you don't know the skill, is a regard ability. Generation Break 1. This is the starting of the Amber clones we hit because he's Amber, yeah. Generation Break 1, Counter Blast 1, and when this unit attacks a Vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do, uh, in, and if this unit is boosted, you may Counter Blast 1, choose one of your great two. Or less units and return to the bottom of your deck. Yeah. This this is good. Oh, okay. The next great tool is that uh Steam Knight to Lugal. Oh, yeah, Steam Knight Lugal. Lugal. Uh oh, sorry. Lugal. Okay. Okay. 
uh, which if you don't know the skill generation break one when this unit is placed on the rear guard circle um, you may pay the cost if you do um, until end of turn this gets a uh, great uh, 2k it's so making this a uh, 11k beer and your opponent cannot call great zero from hand to the guardian circle which means that this is an 11k silent tom which is quite cool again um play two of these this is awesome especially if you can time leap into lugo um counter blast one and you can use this ability attack 11k and silent tom this is good right that's all for my great tools all right uh, for my great ones, of course, um, a must have for every single deck of uh, cons and guards, PGs. I don't mind is a PGG, so perfect RG, which uh, Steam Maiden Ar which is Steam Maiden Arlim. Okay, so the skill is that when you uh, blow uh, when you cons and guard, perfect guard, you can choose one of your when guards and you cannot be hit. And if you have another one of these cards in your drop zone near this card pile, you can um, counter. You can just counter charge one, which means that you can just unflip one card uh, from your damage zone. Yeah, play four of these. This is good for PGGs. And the second, I'll play four gear roofs. Right, which if you don't know the skill, it's generation break one when uh. The when my one of my opponent's rear guards is returned to the bottom of your deck, this unit gets three k. So if so, if in my turn I return two of my opponent's, I return two of my opponent's rear guards, this unit gets six k. And if you play with upheaval Pegasus, uh, with which has my opponent has five rear guards, and I use upheaval Pegasus, this unit alone can get, uh, a plus fifteen k, which making this a twenty two k beater, uh, very awesome. And just a simple side note that you can interchange this with Miss Geyser if Miss Geyser because I think Miss Geyser is better, but this it's a six K itself, but it is a seven K itself. So what I'm trying to recommend is that you can play two gear rules and play two Miss Geysers. Either way, or you want to play four Miss Geyser dragons, or you can play four gear rules. It's okay. It's it's personal preferences up to you how you want to play it. And then third, uh, the next great one, um, Steam Fighter uh, uh, Runningin, yes, which if you do, I play three of these, uh, if you don't know the skill, is that's a real guard, once per turn skill, generation break one, when this, you, uh, when one of your opponent's real guard is returned to the bottom of your deck, if you have a great tree, or greater man guard with chronogen is card name, you may counter charge, which means you unflip one card from your damage, zone and this is good once per is a once per turn ability i three of this is enough okay and the next one is uh steam breath steam breath dragon steam breath dragon yeah uh which if you don't know if you don't know the skill of course um you call to real guard and if you have a great tree in your hand you re you reveal it to your opponent search your deck for chrono jet dragon you put it into your hand and you throw one card from your hand. Yeah, this is a very good one. And basically, we call all of these uh, similar cards Strike Fathers, which means that we can just strike directly with this card. Because if you uh, strike, you this unit gets plus two great. So it equals to a great three. So yeah, playing two striders is enough because um, my great force doesn't have much. I don't have much striding in my deck. So mainly because it's Persona Blast, which I'll get on into. Um, I'll get to that later, but two Steam Breath Dragon is enough. I play three if you want it to. I can just kick out one gear with and play one more Steam Breath. Yeah, why not? Just so in case. Let's move this aside for now. Um, we'll get to the triggers last. Oh, no, not last. Second last, I'm sorry. Um, of course, I, uh, I'll play... Uh, Steam Scarra Kalanma, which is a critical trigger, right? Just a basic fire, uh, just as a basic critical trigger, right? And the next crit I play four of these is called um, Toki Toki Waka Hard Tumbukers, which uh, rear guard skill. And when this 
when your vanguard, your skill is that uh, when your vanguard attacks, if you have a great tree or greater vanguard with Chrono Jet in its card name, you may put this into your soul, draw one card, and give 5k. Yeah, pretty, pretty strong triggers, the crit triggers, which I'm sure every deck has one now. Right, this this is a must have for every uh, Chrono Jet running, uh, Gear Chronicle decks, which is good. Four of these is enough. Right, next, uh, I play two draw triggers. The skill is uh, you put this unit into your soul, choose one of your uh, Gear Chronicle units, and you get triggers. And yeah, I play two draw triggers because uh, I can just draw a lot of cards with this. So yeah. And that's it. And I'll play two stand triggers. Right? Steam Butler or Oro Water. Alright, it's a generation break one ability. And the skill is that uh, if this unit is time leap from your uh, rear guard circle, you may pay the cost, which is you return this unit to the bottom of your deck. And you draw two cards, choose one heart, uh, choose one card from your hand, and shuffle into your deck. This is a very cool, uh, a little bit of a draw trigger is um, trigger, uh, the card, yeah. I played two of these and this, I recommend playing this uh, stand trigger for time leap decks because this is good enough. Very good, so, like, allowing you to draw one card, this is good. And last but not least is heal triggers, of course, four of these. My waifu, right? My waifu, Steam Maiden Uruu, right? No more, no less for huge triggers, alright? Yes, okay. Um, uh, last but not least, let's get to the Great Force, right? Great Force, alright, first, oh, sorry. Now, Great Force, uh, eight Great Force as usual, but the first. Uh, card is the first two cards I will play is Metallica Phoenix, right? If you don't know this, uh, if you don't know the skill, when this unit attacks, you may unflip one card in your G zone, and you choose one of your rear guards and time leap it, right? So, I can just attack, unflip one card in the G zone, and I choose my Great Zero for example, and I can superior call a Great One on the field, right? Yeah, I play mainly. Two of these is enough, right? Because not much time leap, as I've stated. And the second is the second card is our My Gear Chronicles Greatest Ace Chrono Dorago Next Stage, Chrono Dragon Next Stage. And the skill is that this is a very cool skill. This is a if you are a Gear Chronicle player, I'm sure that um, this card is very awesome because you can just stand and uh, fully utilize Chrono Jet skill, which is uh, Generation Break 2. Um, at the end of the battle that this unit attack the Vanguard, you may pay the cost, which is Counter Blast 1 and unflip Chrono uh, Doragon at Custay G Persona Blast, uh, G Persona Blast, unflip it, and the same card. Guys, so uh, uh, sorry for a little bit of a cut off this, be just because my camera just ran out of space, and uh, I'm j uh, just this is just gonna set up to show you my uh, unit so far, and uh, I just ran across Metallica Phoenix, so the, I'm gonna do next stage next, and continue where I left off. Chrono Dragon next stage, of course, is my next G unit. The skill is a uh, Generation Break Two, and uh, when this unit, the skill is that when you, uh, at the end of the battle that this unit attack a vanguard, you may counter blast one, G persona flip and throw three cards from your hand, and if you do, uh, chrono dragon next stage from the uh, vanguard circle will go to the uh, G zone and chrono drag, uh, uh, chrono jet, chrono jet dragon can stand again and can fully utilize his generation break two ability, which means get five, uh, which is a uh, get five k and your opponent can't uh, guard with grade 1 or grade 2. So yeah, that's it. Quite meta. Play two of this. Alright, the next G unit is uh, Renga Shingenki no Renga Rengeki no Gear Colossus. Fiery Much Colossus. 
Um, the skill is that uh, when this unit attacks, you may count the last one, return one of your rear guards to the bottom of your deck, and choose one of your rear opponent's rear guards to the bottom of your deck. And at the end of the battle, uh, your opponent can't uh, guard with the same grade that was put in the bottom of the deck, which means that if I were to return his grade 1, he can't uh, guard with grade 1, which means that I seal off his Kanzen guard or PG. And if I just uh, return his grade 0, I, I can. Uh, he can't great, uh, guard with grade 0, which is a Silent Tom skill. And I really love um, this unit because it's, 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 a, it's just a rare, and uh, with a skill like this, this is a massive. Usually, I see people play 4 or 3 of this because of its uh, versatility on uh, sealing off grade 1 or grade 2. Uh, sorry, grade 1 or grade 0, um, which makes this a very good card. It's a Basically, a very good uh, it's a budget card for those people who couldn't afford uh, any of uh, next stage or some other uh, triple rare or, uh, or generation range units. All right, this is a very good card. I recommend putting this in a lot of uh, Gear Chronicle decks. This is a very good card. Yes, and moving on is uh Jikuju Apple Hevel Pegasus, uh, interdimensional beast uh Apple Pegasus. Uh, this skill is this, uh, when this unit is placed on the vanguard circle, your opponent re returns all of his or her rear guards, which means that if my opponent has 5 rear guards, I can just return everything. And basically, and you can just call again from the top of the opponent's deck, and which means I can just tear down my opponent's uh, what's it called, uh, strategy. Yeah, This is surprisingly a very good card, I recommend um, putting this just to screw up your opponent's field but um, a reason reason I don't play two or three of these um, usually one is enough just because it's a twin age sword you might have the chance to um, sorry uh, it's a little bit shaky okay uh, basically this is card is a twin age sword which means that um, if I return there's a chance that I will re the op opponent will call back the much more stronger cards than before, so I gotta be careful on how you use this. That's why I play one. And last but not least is a uh, Jiku uh, Ragnar Clock Dragon, Ragnar Clock Dragon, Interdimensional Dragon, Ragnar Clock Dragon. And the skill is that when this unit attacks a vanguard, you may count the last one and G Persona Flip of the same name, which means I play two of this to get um, an. And my opponent can't get guard with a great zero, Silent Tom. And if my G zone has two or more face up cards, this unit gets one crit. So this is a basically in itself alone is a twenty six k two crit Silent Tom skill, which I recommend playing in GC decks. So yeah, that's all. That's all for my uh, G unit. This is quite strong as well. This and this Colossus next stage and uh Ragnar Clock. Yeah, these are quite the these are quite the meta. Um, uh, you can basically switch out any of these G units for, um, Fate Rider, which uh I don't play Fate Rider, but it's okay. So just to show you around, this is how my G unit look. Uh, this is how my units uh my deck looks like. All right. So uh. Well, to conclude, this is how I run my Gear Chronicle. Um, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you have any questions or comments uh, on how you want to improve my deck, it's okay. Uh, you can comment down below. And um, one thing for sure, um, Ember, I'm, I might kick up Ember and play 3 Upstream and 3 History Makers just to balance out my feud, but then... Um, this will be just in case, in case if my opponent has a lot of real guards, like if I fight against Royal Paladins, Gold Paladins, or any of the pal the uh, unit calling decks, um, Ember might be quite come in handy, I don't know, but this might change in the future, I may make an update of the uh, deck profile, and uh, keep, it, uh, keep in touch, I might want to make a uh, GC deck profile of um, Time Leap 
which focuses around uh, Chronos Command Dragon and Chronos Command Revolution and uh, Gear Eagle. Um, be on the lookout for that. Um, and yeah, so that's all for my video today. I thank you guys for watching and I hope you subscribe and comment down below if you have any of your suggestions or anything that can help me to improve my deck. So this is just how I run. So yeah. It's already quite meta enough if you ask me, but it's not that quite meta. I'll give it a like 7 or 8 out of 10 for the little bit of the lineup like this. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and this is, has been Professor Zero Nine, in 095 signing out.